Hey everybody, it's Mike here from GetFitOver40.com and I thought I'd do a little bit of voiceover with this video. And so anyways, let's get right to it. This was another workout done at CrossFit Langley and it was basically an up to 30 minute workout depending on if you could get through all of this activity. And so we had to do what's called a ladder and uh, what that means is you usually go from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But I split it up into groups of 11. So five groups of 11, which basically adds up to the same. It's 55 reps. And instead of doing 100 meter rows, I did 200 meter rows. Now right now, I'm trying to get the first rowing machine working here. But the battery was low, so I just switched over and jumped on the next one. And so I'm going to start off with my first 200 meter row instead of a 100 meter. Because I'm doing five sets, it works out to 1,000 meters in total. And uh, so here we go, starting, and you can see I've got the timer up top there. I thought I'd just count from the time that I started. And uh, rowing has got to be one of the hardest things. It just uses your whole body. It's just exhausting. I mean, doing 100 to 200 meters, an individual one, isn't a big deal. But when you do 1,000 meters, it adds up. Even, you know, when you're splitting it up into five 200-meter rows, don't forget, you're doing all this other stuff in between, and it just, you're already exhausted by the time you come back to it from all the other stuff you're doing. And it's just, it just uses your whole body and it just wins you. <clears throat> all right, so I'm probably getting pretty close to finishing up this 200 meter row. There we go. And uh, by the way, that guy on the left there in the black and gray bottoms is Mike. And we were kind of working out together in this one area called the Man Cave. And there's Buddy. He. <laughs> As a buddy there, he was working out the previous session, taking his time getting out of the gym, getting a drink there. And so that's basically, uh, I'll call it a deficit push-up. So we're going a little bit further than if you were going to go down to the ground. We got another uh, we got another lagger there, another gym rat who's uh, taking his time getting out of the gym, using up my video space there. All right, so now I'm going over to, oh, oh he's in the way. So that is a curl press, and this is kind of the first time I've done it, so I'm not really sure what the technique is. I'm kind of playing around, experimenting with how to do it, and these first few sets weren't the most efficient for me. I got a little better at them, and with the first couple rounds, so the first one or two rounds, I was trying to do most of my stuff unbroken, which means I wasn't taking breaks. I was just doing my full 11 reps, and... and uh, it gets pretty tough because you get really tired doing these 11, sets of 11. It really tires you out. Doing the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is a little bit easier. You spend more time walking around so you get a little bit of a, of a breather between your sets. But because I'm doing 11, 11, 11, it, it really, um, you don't get much of a breather. So you can't see it. I should have moved my camera a little bit more left. But now I'm doing pull-ups and I'm doing 11 of them. And I'm doing a little bit of a kip, so in other words, I'm swinging my legs forward a bit. It helps you get the pull-up. It's not a strict pull-up, but don't forget, I'm doing 55 pull-ups in total through this full, um, I guess, like AMRAP or what would it be? Maybe a Metcon. I'm not sure what you call it, but we're basically doing 20 or sorry, 55 sets in the quickest amount of time, so as quickly as possible getting through this workout. All right. So now we move on, or I'm moving on to the ab rolls. Again, i got to do 11 of them. And I'm a little stiff on these first ones. I could probably get a little lower, but not too bad. You're not supposed to flop on the ground and lie there like a dead piece of meat. You're supposed to stop just before the ground and then kind of come back up under your own strength. And I don't find them too bad. I probably find the ab rolls... For me, they're not too bad. They're not really that exhausting and they're not that hard. I mean, you sort of get a workout in your stomach area for sure, but it's not too bad. And then you'll see I'll mark it off. What I'm doing is I'm marking off when I've done a set just so that I know when I get to my uh, full five sets. Not that it's hard to count to five, but sometimes you lose track because you're so tired. All right, here we are rowing again. And I'll talk about rowing while this is taking place. Rowing is interesting. You think, okay, I'm, you know, I'm getting tired. I'm going to slow down. It'll be easier. But what happens when you slow down in your row is you kind of do it for a longer time because it doesn't matter if you're going slow or fast. You're still exerting the same amount of energy. You're just, if you go fast, you get, you get it done quicker. 
If you do it slower, it takes longer. But at the end of it, you're pretty much just as tired either way with very little difference. That's the thing with the row. It just takes so much longer when you don't put as much effort into it. And that you know length of time that it takes just wears you out just as much. And But you know, you only have so much energy, so you gotta kinda back off a little bit once you start doing these. The first uh, 200 meter rows usually happens pretty quick. Second one's not too bad, but as I get through this workout, it slows down. All right, so we're gonna do these um, curl press again. There's Mike, he's got a good push up going on there. He's got a nice one, nice and fast, nice and deep. Way to go, Mike. All right, so here I am. I'm starting to get an idea. And yeah, you can swing your arms a bit. The whole thing with CrossFit is, is you're trying to do use the most efficient method to get the work done. That's just the sort of the idea behind CrossFit. It's not always strict movements. It's get the job done with the most efficient method and you have to swing things or kip or whatever you're basically the goal is to get the weights from the down position to the up position here using a curl and then a press if you swing use a little bit of push press from the legs whatever you got to do to get it done so that was pretty much unbroken I didn't have to put them down I took a little bit of a breather but I'm still pretty fresh here but I tell you I'm already feeling it this workout is grueling oh there's a little shot of Mike's abs there <laughs> this tattoo so Mike's pretty new to CrossFit by the way good guy uh, we're both about the same weight I think we both weigh almost 180 pounds he's been primarily doing weights most of his life he hasn't done CrossFit so like me he's got a little work to do in the leg category the leg strength because his CrossFitters are they're pretty strong guys in the lower body they do a lot of a lot of deadlifts a lot of squats and so I'm trying to catch up to these other guys that have been doing CrossFit for a while especially in the leg department but when it comes to upper body, both Mike and I do pretty good. We actually um, can outbench some of these other guys here. And we did a sort of a bench off the other day. And we both got to a single rep of 265 pounds. So he's pretty strong in his chest and, and triceps. He was struggling a little bit on the pull-ups. So he's got some work to do there. But that's one thing about CrossFit is we do a lot of pull-ups. So he's going to get strong in his back pretty quick. All right, that's, by the way, that lady in the back there going hard on the rows is my wife, my lovely wife, beautiful wife, Nicole. And uh, she had to modify this workout just a little bit because she's got an elbow issue going on, so she couldn't do some of the curls. She couldn't do the curl portion. It's bothering her elbow. She can do rows because she's using mainly her legs and not trying to put too much effort in with bending her arms. All right, back to the ab rolls. Still going strong. By the way, that lady over there at the desk on the left is Leanne, and she's one of the owners. What's she doing there? Looks like she's eating something. Nice lady. She is really strong. She's been doing powerlifting and CrossFit for some time, and she can outlift a lot of the guys in the gym. Probably most of the guys, especially if you're talking pound for pound, because she's not that heavy. I think she weighs. You know, she's pretty uh, solid right now. She's been sort of bulking up putting on some strength she's not at her leanest she's just sort of going through the getting strong phase I think she's around 135 140 or something like that but she's not tall she's very solid very strong and uh, I don't know if you can see him the gray-haired guy over there on the right he's gonna he's been walking around a little bit he's eating too these guys that's all they do is eat eat and train that's Darren and uh, he's like 50 years old but again he will outlift pretty much everybody here at the gym in literally legs whatever whatever have you he can you know squat deadlift shoulder press he's a strong dude at 50 years old so uh, and again he's um he's at more of his sort of bulking stage as well they're off season um i think he's around 200 and something 205 pounds you see how that uh row is taking me a while <laughs> it's taking a while over there but anyways getting back to darren he uh yeah, he leans down, I think, to around in the 170s when he goes into competition. He went into a, a seniors, not a seniors, but a, whatever you call it. There's a comp, an, an age group for the 50s, 50-year-olds, 50 and he's competed in that. And uh, he did well. He looked really great. He was really shredded for that competition. So they know, how to, they know how to put weight on, and they know how to take the weight off when they need to. But those guys, uh, both Darren and Leanne, are uh, they're the owners and they know what they're doing here. And they are a couple, by the way. 
You wouldn't think it, because Darren's uh, 50 and Leanne's, I think, 23, but they're a couple. And uh, they get along quite well, so both have very similar interests, obviously. All right, here we go. I think, I think, um, yeah, you can see I'm getting a good technique down with these curl press. I'm sort of like getting the swing in and then using a bit of a push press, but okay, I have, I'm not putting them down in this set, but I think the last two sets I end up putting them down for a few. Break them up. And when I break them up, what I was doing near the end here for these sets of 11 is I was basically doing seven and then four. So even with the pull-ups, I was breaking them into reps of seven and then four. Now I found with the push-ups, wasn't really uh, too difficult to do them unbroken, just because it's fairly strong now. You can see that I'm getting a little bit lazy on my push-up. So after you do that shoulder press, and then go, to go right into a push-up, you're really taxing those triceps. So maybe um, what I could do is go a little wider with my push-up grip and hit the, ch the chest a little more. That would have probably got me into a little bit more comfortable zone there where, where I could have gone deeper. I noticed Mike was going a little wider with his push-ups. So instead of just hitting that tricep again after the push-up or the push-press type press activation, uh, the, the set before, hitting the chest going wider would have been maybe easier. So see here, I think I'm starting to get into the breaking these up a bit. I think I'm going to do like seven of these. Let's see what happens. Or do I do them all? Well, I think I did seven. Catch my breath. This is a really tough workout. Because you're using a lot of energy with pretty much every exercise you're doing. They're not easy. Alright, I think I gotta do another three or four. Not sure what I was doing. Now I think what happens, I remember I missed an ab roll. I might have missed it on this set. So don't say, hey, you missed your ab roll. Yeah, walked right by that thing. Like it wasn't even there. I do realize this. I think I realized it partway through my row that I'd missed my ab roll. So partway through this 200 meter row, which is probably going to take a while. You got time to think while you're sitting here getting tired and just pulling using all your muscles. <laughs> you have some time to think because even though it goes by pretty fast on the clock here, but in your mind, it, it slow, it's like time slows down. <laughs> so <laughs> I think right now I'm thinking, oh, I missed an ab roll. Darn it. So you'll see here, I think what I do is I do my curls, my curl press, and then I think I go back and I hit the ab roll, and I do two sets of ab rolls during this set to make up for that one that I missed. Let's see what happens. And there's my wife doing the rows again there. Oh, here comes Darren. What's he doing? He's moving weights over there on the right. Oh, he's walking around. Oh, he's back down. He's probably back down. He's going to do some more eating now. Nope. Catching my breath there after those rows. I find the rows to be the most tiring. Out of all this stuff, I would say the rows. And then next tiring, I would say, would be these curl presses. Because you're just, they're heavy. They're 35 pounds, by the way. So you're doing 70. I'm doing 75 or 70 pounds, I'm curling and pressing and doing it fairly quick. And it's tiring. You know, if, you, if I was just doing that all by itself and had to do 55 reps, breaking them up, it wouldn't be a big deal. Problem is, as you go from doing the rows, you're exhausted, then you gotta go in and do another very physically exhausting exercise. And that's the whole point of these, of these sort of sets and reps and just trying to do them as quickly as possible as you're trying to get yourself exhausted. The good news is it usually only lasts, you know, a lot of times we do these types of uh, workout of the days or whatever you want to call them, AMRAMs, Metcons. They're usually like, you know, anywhere from 12 minutes, sometimes even less, up to about 20 to 30, depending on how quickly you get things done. I think I'm getting some water over there. Mike's got a good ab roll there. He's going nice and low. That's, that's pretty much how you want to do it. So I think what I'll do in the future is uh, get a little lower because I like I like what he's doing. He's getting a little lower than me on that one. So yeah, I realized that I missed my ab roll last time. So I'm doing my makeup set here. 
my makeup, yeah, my makeup set. Mike's looking pretty sore and tired over there. I know Mike was telling me he got a little confused. He started doing sets of 11 and then he thought that he had to do a, like 10 sets of 11 and then so he said, I'm not going to be able to do this and then he started breaking it down and to the 9, 8, 7, 6 and, but I think he ended up actually doing more reps than he needed to so I'm not sure what his calculations or how he was breaking these up but he was doing it a little bit, bit differently than I was because he was a bit confused as to how it worked. So here I am back to the... Um, deficit push-ups I could be going a little lower there you know when you watch these videos back you see where you're making small mistakes and I'm cheating those a bit it wasn't intentionally felt like I was going deep but I guess just being tired up oh, Mike is about to hurl there I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> I'm not really sure but he's tired boy oh, yeah he's catching his breath before the pull-ups his pull-ups he was really struggling on those pull-ups he was really having to break him down, so but he'll get good at him. Just a matter of time. Oh, here comes Darren. What's he doing? No, he's moving some weights around. Alright. Yeah, just putting things away. I guess that's part of his job. Clean up after us. A little bit. Although we try to tidy up after ourselves. I know he doesn't he's not happy when we leave all of our stuff lying around. All right, yeah, I think I broke those uh, pull-ups into, again, a set of, or I broke them into seven and then four. It's pretty tough. It's not that I didn't have the strength to do 11 of them. It's just that you just get so winded. You're just so tired. After the seven pull-ups, you're just uh, gasping, and you need to just sort of step down, catch your breath, come back, and finish the rest. So here's that uh, regular ab roll. I've done two sets of ab rolls during the set to make up for the one that I missed, so yes, I did everything. And I believe after this ab roll, I think I'm on my last round, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I could get the butt down a little bit lower on those ab rolls. Okay, I'm coming over to change the camera uh, because my camera only uh, records 20 minutes at a time. So what I did is I just paused it, stopped it, and started it again. So really, it actually took time away from my workout to do that. But I didn't want to miss the end of the workout because if I go over 20 minutes, it just stops. And I knew that I was getting pretty close or I knew I would not probably be under 20 minutes for this workout. So I wanted to make sure that I just stopped it and started it and got the rest of it. All right, I think that's my last row, 200 meter row. And pretty tired, to be honest. Mike looks pretty tired over there too. <laughs> Shaking it out. It's doing good though. His uh, girlfriend is a firefighter. I'm trying to remember her name, is Joan or Joanne. I've, I've got a brain fart going on here. And she's really fit. She's been going for a long time and she does a great job and she's got a lot of this stuff down and uh, she brought Mike I'm gonna say a month and a half two months ago to the CrossFit and he's really enjoying it he's a good guy uh, it's always nice when he's there we're, we're kind of quite compatible and you know both of us are struggling a little bit with some of these exercises especially the leg ones just trying to get caught up to these other guys and who are just you know been here for a long time doing this stuff I think I'm catching a, getting a drink, quick drink there. Back to my last set of curl press, and I'm tired. I just want to get this over with. I'm gonna be breaking it up, I'm sure, into into probably seven, and then four. But the good news is I've got it down to a fairly efficient method. You'll notice that the weights kind of don't even stop on the way up you just want to kind of carry that momentum so I'm kind of like pulling them and then as they come up I'm dipping and pushing them forward or forward or not forward up so you probably what you want to try to do is not lose the momentum I found of the weight going up so once you've done the curl you want to carry that momentum up into your press as much as possible but you need to get a little dip with your legs 
as you can see what's happening there and get them up. You want to swing them back a little bit at the bottom, get some swing. Just keep that momentum going is essentially what you want to do with pretty much all your CrossFit activities. If there's a way to keep the momentum going, you try to do it. And that's my last set of deficit push-ups, which really at this point aren't deficit anymore. They're just pretty much standard push-ups, maybe not even. So you got to work on that. Felt like I was getting low, but looking back here, I should have been a little lower on those. Again, I'll try putting my arms out a little wider and hitting the chest more than the triceps because this really wasn't too much of a chest workout. It was more of a back, buys, and yeah, no, back and buys, a little bit of shoulders and try. Back, buys, and tries for sure. All right, the last set of pull ups. I'm going to probably get seven banged off here. Take a quick breather. Now we're at 20 minutes. So it would have been nice to hit this in under 20 minutes, but you know, it was tough. This workout was harder than I thought. I think I just waved to the camera there. Four more to go, and then I think ab rolls, and that's it. If you hear some squeaking, that's my chair. My chair here squeaks a bit. All right, last ab rolls. See my wife, she's actually pretty good at the ab rolls there. She uh, wasn't uh, doing them so well at the beginning, but look at her, getting pretty much all the way down. Not too bad. But long arms and a long body, it actually makes it a lot harder. If you're short and stocky, doing ab rolls is, is much easier. But it's like, you know, anything that requires leverage, being shorter doesn't need as much leverage or actually gives you more leverage. If you're long and lanky, it's like you've got a lot more work to do. And that's it. What did we get? 21.14. 21 minutes and 14 seconds. Two thumbs up from Mike there. Going to be turning the camera off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.